Welcome to Back Issues. I'm Tiffany. I'm Sal. And I'm Ethan. And today, um, well, yeah, we've got Sal on the couch, who's usually when I'm like doing this, it's Ben. But I figure since Sal was here last time when we did a ghostwriter book, especially a Danny Ketch ghostwriter book, especially written by Howard Mackey. Oh, no. That Sal should be on the couch again when we do another ghostwriter book. Yay. Written by Howard Mackey. Oh. But it's not what you think. It's not volume one. It's not volume two. It's actually like a little like team up crossover. Oh. Um, it was done in uh, the 90s, in 1991, December. A prestige uh, one shot came out. This very 90s thing. Uh -huh. They'd like sell like essentially a single comic for a lot of money and make it like all like specially bound and stuff like that. Mm. To justify the yes. extra pages or? Yeah, it's a little longer. Okay. It's marginally longer. <laughs> this time, Mackie really wanted to work with John Romita Jr. Okay. He really wanted to work with him, but Romita was working on Iron Man and a couple of other projects at the time. When he finished up with that, he convinced him to work on this story with him. And so, they did essentially a cash grab. Oh! Um, and they in took, the 90s? They took comics? the three most popular characters and yeah, put them together in them a together. book. Uh -huh. And that book is called Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher. Hearts of Darkness. <laughs> Hearts of Darkness. Hearts of Darkness. Oh, All right. And, like um, the Conrad book. Like the yeah. Conrad book. And let me tell you, it stands up. It holds up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, right next to Conrad. Oh, yeah. You, you, Justin, this is coming to your uh, summer reading list oh, yeah. any day now. Yeah. Look out. Um, it's a penetrating uh, examination of the human condition. It truly right? is. Naturally, through three different versions <laughs> of man. Howard Mackey. Originally, this book was actually going to be Ghost Rider with Wolverine and Punisher. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And then they changed it to Anne. And they were like, no. And let me tell you, they did not change the story, though. <laughs> mm. So it's a Ghost Rider. So it's a Ghost Rider book with some characters in it. Yeah. You know what's funny about this book? Uh, a friend of mine in grade school had it. Oh, and he, that was in his collection because I remember oh, like Jesus. when Damn. there was this very brief period of time where I was like associated with kids. I I wouldn't say I was friends with them, uh -huh. but occasionally I would like have sleepovers and stuff where they had their own comic book collections, and it was like six books, and it was like things that I would never buy. Yeah, and that was one of them. And I remember it being in that beautiful prestige comic that like was always so just right outside my grasp. Yeah, so I was like, I don't want to read that. Yeah. And so I wouldn't. And the John Romita Jr. art really turned me off. Really? Oh. Which is stupid now because his art was so great back right. then. Right. And especially on his like Punisher run and stuff. I, just, I loved his, his Punisher stuff and his Daredevil stuff. Right. And this is that. Okay. And that's all I know is that like it, I was like everyone looks like they're made of blocks. Yeah. And and they're made with with just with just scratchings. Right. Mm -hmm. But he gets more blocky as we go on. So this is like you go back and you're like this is pretty good. I kind of like it. Yeah. Um well you've always said that he's trying to approximate like the old Dark Knight Returns. Frank Miller. And Frank there's Miller actually moments in here that I'm just like this is very Frank Miller. Is it inked mm -hmm. by Klaus Jansen? It is. There you go. It is. Klaus Jansen was uh, Frank Miller's inker on, on Dark, Dark Knight Returns so. and a number of other books that he's done. So, so like, like, it makes sense. I was going to say, yeah. so Howard Mackey right now is working with some top tier talent. Not that He saying, is top tier talent know, this so time, like, which is like a that's joke. That's what I'm saying. I, I, not saying that he wasn't in the 90s, but don't forget, we did Ghostwriter Volume 2, <laughs> which you can check it out right over there. It's a good time had by all, especially me. <laughs> I had a great time. Yes, yes, you did. This one's less ridiculous, but I had just as much fun with it. Oh, good. All right. So, um, this book uh, opens up. Hit that first one, right? There we go. Hey, don't yeah. forget those two are in yeah, it, too. I like the brown and the yellow. The brown and yeah. the yellow one? Yeah. yeah. We need to have a giant ghost rider. Because don't forget, Harry Mackey invented Danny Ketch. Mm. Yeah. So, that's who we have here. We have Danny Ketch. Oh, yeah. This story opens up in Christ's Crown, which is in New York. And what you see there, you see like there's like thorns around it. It's Christ's crown. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. But it's like always been called that. And um, they're in the midst of a human sacrifice. Oh, as you do. Right. As you do. You're in a small sleepy suburb in town. You go up to the top of the hill. Yeah. You, you're killing some chick. It's... I don't know where she came from. And it doesn't matter. Well, they just These snatched people her up. literally don't matter. Oh, they're just, they're just do not matter. window dressing. They're just window dressing because they're leading to the big reveal because they're trying to summon something, and that oh. something is Blackheart. Oh, sweet! Whoa. So, fun fact about Blackheart. You got John Romita Jr. drawing him. John Romita Jr. is one of the creators of Blackheart along with Anne Nascenti. He originated in Daredevil 270 back in 89, where <laughs> Blackheart is born 
on Christ's crown. Because, like, Christ's crowns back in the day, like, since, like, the 1600s has been, like, a hive of scum and villainy, basically. No. Like, for some reason, like, bad energy is drawn to that hill. Yeah. So, like... It's a magnet for creepy yeah, idiots. Yeah, people have been murdered there. People have been sacrificed there. Like... Demons have been born there. De well, yeah, and, like, the final straw was, like, this dude is, like, trying to drag this chick up like to the, the to the top of the hill to take advantage of her yes and he starts to do that and she's like i barely know you and then like mephisto is like got it and he summons blackheart who is his son son yeah another little fun fact for you in 1989 a few months before that daredevil issue came out in doctor strange they invented mephisto <laughs> uh, mephisto's daughter <laughs> Right. It was a big year for Mephisto. <laughs> here, yeah, he was very busy. He big year. Children. Here's a question. <laughs> uh, when Mephisto came on the scene, yeah. A, was she a big deal? Well, for Doctor Strange it was, because like she was kind of invented to be like a foil for Doctor Strange, but inevitably she like kind of like digs him and like kind of wants to bang him. Oh. And like there's a great moment where like there's like a battle that involves Strange and Mephisto kind of teaming up and like Mephisto is like thankful in a sense that it happens because right. I think he's fighting sat Satanish at the time. Oh, right. So it all kind of clears up. And um, then, like, she's like, well, I promised I'd leave after this, so I'm going to go. But, like, next time I'm around Doctor Strange, maybe, you know, we can, you know. And, like, Mephisto's like, yeah, and if she does, you better say no. <laughs> you better call me and I'll come in my Winnebago and pick her up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, Mephisto is, like, she is effective, she's powerful, but, like, She's utilized at that time as more like a, like, you know... Supporting oh, character for Doctor Strange. Yeah, and it's like, it's a woman, so of course, as a womanizer, like, it's an interesting yeah. like, dynamic. Later on, she'll be renamed, or she decides to go by the name Jezebel. Okay, well, that makes sense. Mm, right. um, uh, but when Blackheart came on the scene, did everyone immediately forget about Mephisto and then go all Blackheart? Um, I think they kind of <laughs> did. Well, because, like, Mephisto was really just in Doctor Strange. Blackheart mm. came out in Daredevil, and right. then he's used here, and then he's used other places as well. But... Just as a little heads up as to Blackheart's capabilities, or at least their their initial idea of them, he's born, like, he immediately tries to kill his dad. His dad's like, you know, oh, okay, you think you're, like, hot shit? You know what? Go to Earth, and anytime you run into, like, an adversary that, like, is worthy, you have to reveal yourself, because he makes him look like he is a, a regular dude, because he normally looks like that. Right. Yeah. And um, so he runs into Daredevil, and they fight, and then Spider-Man shows up, and, like, Daredevil and Spider-Man take down Blackheart. Oh. And it's kind of like... That's awesome. But also, like, well, he's a demon. They so shouldn't then what do you need demon. these three for? <laughs> right, yeah. Now, but here's a quick unknown fact about me. My exposure to Blackheart was in the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom video game. Yes. He was a playable character. Oh. He is. And I remember being like, you have a thousand characters to yeah. choose from, and you chose Blackheart. <laughs> But that's because probably a lot of people's introduction to this character, by the way. Because he's cool looking. He is cool looking. And like yeah. I, what I like about his design, and like I couldn't find any information about it necessarily, because initially this is not what Romita was thinking, but like between <laughs> him and Anne, they kind of came to this design. Uh -huh. But like he's born in a place called Christ's Crown, and he's very Thorns. thorny. And I was like, that's kind of clever. Yeah. I always like it. He <laughs> looks like he's always screaming, and he's always like, it's not even that he's... he has like no mouth. I know. It's, well, it's always open, or there's a shadow. Yeah. But it's, you know it's not shadow, it's just that he's... He's just darkness. I, I think John Romita Jr. was draw was born to draw him because, of course, he created him. But also, yes. like, anyone else who ever tackles Black Ark because he's appeared in the future, yes. I've never been satisfied. No. I only like this version. And I think it's because it suits his style because Romita's style is kind of loose and it has a lot of, like, line work to it. Like, there's mm -hmm. a lot of lines involved and that yeah. really suits his character. Later on, when you try to streamline him, it loses oh, this yeah. kind of effect. You, you lose all these. You lose it all. Thorns and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, Blackheart shows up and he's just like, "Wait, you think you're just gonna offer me stuff like this? Like, I like I'm the son of Mephisto, but like, you know, also like you should do better than this." And then he uses his powers and like turns them all into skeletons. And just, <laughs> oh. just burns them. It's just, it's just, what did you think was gonna happen? Uh, every so time they ever, demon. every time they summon a demon, the demon usually murders them. Yeah. Or it's like, now give me great, great power. They're like, oh yeah. But I think <laughs> that's usually I think, how it works. I think <laughs> Each of them thinks like, but usually there's one guy who makes it. I'm, right. I'm probably I'm that one guy. Yeah. We're just a yeah. crowd of dudes you to who are going to make right, it. You're like, it's not you. It's me. Look to your left. Now look to your right. <laughs> All of you are skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like Blackheart, like like starts to lose it. Like he's just like <laughs> he he's, just, he's, he's like I can do this, and he's like rah, rah, rah. and like the reason he's having a hard time is because like after he deals with Daredevil the first time, he deals with Daredevil again. He like takes him and like a bunch of like characters like Karnak, oh, the Inhuman, wow. and he sends them to hell. And like what he's like watching them, and they've got like such free will and like such like 
goodness in them that he's just like, man, free will's awesome. My dad's an idiot because like, they're, he's never going to win out over humanity and their free will and their like good nature. Right. So like, okay. I want free will. I'm going to rebel against him. And immediately Mephisto's like, no, no, no. So like, <laughs> he ends up like banishing him and cursing him saying like, every time you use your power, if you use it too much, you're going to start losing your mind. Oh, <laughs> So I have to tell you that because it's not really explained in here. It's and it also like probably doesn't take very that. long for him to start losing his mind. Yeah, and it, but, because... But back he knows. Well, turning a bunch of people into skeletons, that's using a lot of power. That's a lot of power right yeah. there. So that's why he starts screaming. Oh, no one. But so. not having known that, if you're just picking this book up, you're, you're just like, like, oh, he's why a spaz. Is he screaming? Yeah, it's because he's starting to lose his sanity. So um, he decides, he's like, you know what? Like, he keeps calling himself his father's assassin, and that's kind of what he was supposed to be. And he's just like, you set me into this role where, like, I was supposed to be like you and, like, be like a devil and stuff like that. But, like, that's not what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of folk. I'm going to get the three most popular characters in Marvel right now. <laughs> and we're going to come and get you, basically. And that's my plan. Right, because if they defeated me so well, they should be able to... literally saying this out loud. Right. Like, as though, like, this the can't hear this. These are not right. thought bubbles. No. Right. These are, like, he's just screaming this in New York just, State. He's just picking up skulls, and, like, he picks up a skull and he holds it like, oh. Oh, symbolism I'm sure it's, foreshadowing. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's visually the cue to tr segue into Ghost Child. It's not really, because it just right. becomes Danny Ketch, and he's just, like, cruising down the road, and he's just like, what's a guy from Brooklyn doing in this, like, suburb of New York? <laughs> I got a letter. For anything, really. What? I mean, like, he's he probably got a letter. whatever you want. You're on a motorcycle. Oh. Yeah, but he usually hangs Cocker out in the fan. city. He's right. just like, I don't get it. Like, I, I, I live, I'm from the city, and I live Is there, Is that normally how it. people muse when they're in places that they're unfamiliar with? Like, yes. I can't believe I'm in this grocery store. I usually get things from <laughs> the supermarket like, yeah this exactly. is so crazy yeah you know i went to the mcdonald's but usually i'm a burger king kind of person <laughs> what's a big mac yeah what mystery is man um so i like this just to go back for a second it's, is this a like a freaking hamlet reference oh like, easily looking yeah. at the skull well it's a, it's a howard mackie one so it's ham-fisted it's a hamlet <laughs> and joseph conrad yeah yes you really wanted me to no. think of those much greater Conrad, than words. Shakespeare, Mackey. <laughs> that's what's that's what's happening. All right. Um. So he's basically like he's like he goes to like a like a boarding house. It's literally called like a boarding the boarding house. house. Okay. He meets a restaurant. And he meets um he meets this woman who um introduces herself as her name's Flo Crum. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Which is like, like Fulcrum. Yeah, that's all I can think of. Her name's Flo. Crumb. Crumb. Is, is she good with, like, engines and stuff? No, she runs the boarding house. Oh, yeah. all right. And um, Danny's looking... Danny introduces himself, first of all, as Dan Catch. I will not be referring to him as Dan. It's, he's Danny. I'm not doing that. He's like the kid from Ninja Turtles that. the movie who's like, Dad, it's Dan now. Yeah. No, he's Danny. <laughs> By the way, uh, for those of you who are looking at any art from this book, um, Danny Catch looks exactly like Ben Riley during the Clone yeah. Saga when John Romita Jr. is drawing him. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a white dude with a mullet. Right. Yeah. And a five o'clock shadow. Right, and a motorcycle. This is what I'm talking about, though. Like, we are introduced to Lucy, and this is where I see the most Dark Knight, like, Frank Miller-isms, is in Lucy. In Lucy's in a, characterization. In the child. Oh, like, yeah. Because she's a child. She's Flo's kid, and she runs up to, to Danny, and she's just, like, she introduces herself, like, hey, I'm Lucy. Like, nice to meet you. Like, she's just very friendly, very outgoing. All right. And, um... You know, he mentions that like she looks like his sister and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, They have a nice yeah. little moment. It's fine, whatever. The reason he is Ghost Rider. Right, exactly. Yeah. And she's just like, she's like, I like you. You're, you're a good person. Just like Mr. Logan and Mr. Frank. Oh! What? What? She knows Punisher and Wolverine? Well, they're staying there, you see. Oh, my God. Why? Truly, this is a divine convergence. Yeah. Right? Well, as it turns out, they all got letters. Oh. And in those letters, it's like, it offers them something they desperately might want. So in Danny's, mm -hmm. it offers um, knowledge about the soul crystals, which is funny, because the only reason he knows about those is because he's running with Johnny Blaze, which, by the way... If you're trying to figure out when this book occurs <laughs> in the chronology, just stop now because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> because right. well, Maggie's I writing know. like seven books at this time, so he this, should be able to keep it all together. This book, it's December 1991, the same month issue 20 of Ghost Rider comes up, comes out, which concludes volume two, which has the end of Su suicide, suicide and Zodiac in it. Wow. Yeah. Don't kill him, kill me. This yeah. happening right now. This happening right now. Well, no, this happened right after that. 
Well, no, but well, right, right after that, he goes and does, some, oh, no, he does a, a, a large-scale hit on another adversary. I can't remember which one it is. Sure, and in between that, this happened. Oh, okay. That's how it works. If you read Marvel, that's how it has to work, oh, or right. it won't work. Well, because, and there's a couple <laughs> other things that, that right. like, it's really rough to figure this out, and it'll happen later on, and I'm just like, you know what? It's funny, because, like, these three characters, there's really nothing in here that will affect them. <laughs> it only affects But there, It only affects Blackheart. Oh, ah. and I'm like, all right, but what? Well, he's probably not appearing in anywhere else, so it works out. He will, I guess, later on. He's still around. Anyway, um, so they all get letters, and like, by the way, those letters are signed B period H period. Ah, <laughs> no! Because <sighs> Blackheart, it's just, this is like, it's fine. I mean, to be fair, none of them know him, but I'm just right. like, you, well, otherwise, you how will the reader you know? Put a friend, yeah, or. Right? Nothing. No, what if you're the reader and you're like, what friend? I don't know anybody. Who well, sent the letter, though? That's their big mystery. It's the dangling plot thread. Oh, BH. Could that be Blackheart? I love that it's like more or less that Blackheart was just like, I'm not going to come up with an alias. Yeah. It's me. It I sent it. The fact that he wrote a letter at all was kind of remarkable. When he was screaming at skeletons that he formed. He's like, I like that on. he can write. Yeah, that's right? nice. He's like, hang on a second. He grabbed one of those bones. He's just like, it's cool. Yeah, he's like, oh my god, I must kill my father! But Sir Hurst, I gotta write these, I gotta force these letters. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Where does he get the stamps? I think they magic their way over right, there. He's like, ha ha! I don't know. I, I, I liked it. Well, then he went a little crazy because he had his powers. Um, yeah, well, he just true. walked around and like put it in their mailbox. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he's wearing a trench coat. Yeah. Do you know that's literally how everybody is in Cagnitas in the Marvel Universe? <laughs> yeah. They put on a hat, they put on the bogey outfit. Yep. Yeah. And they just wander through the streets of Manhattan, right? and everyone's completely inconspicuous. It's fine. <laughs> um, so anyway, so as you've seen in movies, when you stay at a boarding house, the like uh, person who's taking care of it offers you dinner. Yeah. So Flo makes dinner, and Danny comes downstairs, where of course we are are found. We find Logan, Mr. Logan, and Mr. Frank. Now, now I know what you're thinking. How could you not tell who they are? Because Wolverine's <laughs> wearing yellow plaid and looks like Wolverine. <laughs> But Punisher, see, he's smart, man. Yeah. He puts a disguise on. He's got his sunglasses and a pencil thin mustache. I don't even know who he is. Yeah. yeah. I had to read the. T- I didn't know. Yeah, that's his matches Malone uh, persona. <laughs> it's so it's it's so like bulletproof. I mean, like yeah, I'm just yeah. like, oh, who is this it man? Could be anybody. Now right? let's also not forget that in issue five of Ghost Rider that Howard Mackie wrote, Ghost Rider runs into Punisher. So he's met him before. Yes. So when he gets to the dinner table, he's like. Wolverine and Punisher, hi. He's like, man, those guys look familiar. I don't know who they are. Uh, well, because we have established in Volume 2, at least, that... Danny Ketch sucks. And he's a moron. So, yes. Uh, it's either that or Ghost Rider just didn't tell him, or he doesn't... That's true. Ketch is usually in the back seat. Right? Uh, or riding shotgun. I, right? Or right? But, like, it's just it hilarious. I'm just like, yeah, okay. Sure. Why yeah, not? Right. These two look familiar. Perhaps I'll unravel this mm. mystery. Yeah. But anyway, so then they have, like, a little conversation at the dinner table where, like, Lucy's just like, those two are hunting, but, like, I don't like that, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. They mm-hmm. just have, like, adorable conversations. It's very tense. Right. And it's, of course... Tried- yeah. Do they try to establish, like, why the other one's there? Like Through, like, casual conversation? Yeah, like, so, the... Mr. Frank, what brings you out well, Frank, this far? No, like, that's what Lucy establishes, that Mr. Frank and Mr. Logan are there for the good hunting. Right. Hunting. Now, are they, are, are Punisher sure. and Wolverine having their own team up, and it collides with Ghost Rider? No! Or do they all, oh, that's no, right, they, they all have their letters. Letters. The two of them are pretending like they don't know each other. That's, like, the, the biggest joke ever. Like, as though Punisher's just like, well, Logan doesn't know who I am. Yeah, he's it's like, totally oh, cool. he doesn't know who I am. Like, yeah. I'm wearing my mustache. He smells you. Nope. No. Nope. He knew who you were before you even came into town. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, dinner's over, and Danny goes back to his room, and he's just like, man, that kid's cute. Anyway, I wonder if she'd think I was still a good person if she knew I was the Ghost Rider. Or would she think the uh, Ghost Rider? Like, it's literally oh, the like, pathos. Uh, <laughs> I don't care, Danny. And he looks at his... his um. His letter again about the soul crystals, which I didn't get to talking about before. No, yeah. yeah. That's the, the thing that he crystals. knows about uh, from Johnny Blaze because that was something that had to do with Zarathos. Oh, the don't demon forget, that possesses Johnny Nobody's Blaze. really certain who this ghost rider is. Right. But it's not Zarathos. No. Yeah, but like, so Blackheart nice. assumes that it is, so he's just like, I'll tempt him with that. Nailed it. I'm Everybody just like, assumes, I'm as good as my dad. Yeah, why would you assume that the motorcycle riding flaming skull, skull guy well, is the same as the other motorcycle riding flaming skull guy? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's categorical. It, right? So, um, anyway. It's insulting. <laughs> Danny looks outside his window, looks at his motorcycle for a little bit, has some more He's thoughts. Like, God, that's and then, a cool ride. That was a good investment. Right? Then we cut to the Punisher, who is standing in his room 
without his, his shirt gun. on, cleaning his gun. But don't worry, oh, his shirt is just laid on the side of his bed. So in case you're not, if you weren't sure, yeah, you that mustache was so good. Yeah. I'm I'm like, oh, oh, it's the Punisher. Oh, yeah. this, the Punisher shirt. Right yeah, the, the Punisher. Punisher. Shirt. And of course, the gun show. Yes. That he's putting on. All of it. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Taking it all in. Yeah. And then there's a knock at the door. And so, like, he loads a different gun. He puts that gun down, he gets his handgun. Right. Good idea. Right. He's got Close this. Quarters. And it's, it's Wolverine, and he's flipping him off with his claw. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and, like, you know, he's just like, Mr. Logan, I didn't think you recognized me with my great mustache. He's like, yeah, no. Yeah, you're not fooling anybody, Frank. So then Frank just pulls it off. Uh, uh, just grow uh, one! He has enough hair to spare on his chest. Why does he just grow it on his face? There's <laughs> so no hair zone there. Um, so anyway, they both, like... End up talking about how they both got letters. Frank's letter, like, was about how they would offer to give him information about one of the people who murdered his family. Oh. And Frank's like, yeah, but I, like, killed everybody who did, killed my family. Right. So I don't really I need it, but so, I do not know how why they think. Well, no, he's there because he's just like, I don't like that they sent me a letter. How'd they find me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to the bottom of that. Yeah. yeah. So let's... For, I'm going to let, walk into this trap. Let's just go over real quick. So, first of all, Blackheart's like, that's Zarathos. There. So yeah. He doesn't do any research about Punisher and what he's done. No. Right. Clearly he can... He's probably looking for people who killed his family. He probably hasn't killed them all yet. Nailed yeah, it. Yeah, I've read his story. This is... He's, he's doing good. Yeah, so what's yeah. Wolverine's hook? Oh, that he will tell him where his adamantium skeleton came from. Oh, cool. Well, that'd be fun. Except Wolverine's like, I don't care. Right, well, yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, unlike the movie version of Wolverine, by the way, comic book version has dealt with all that. Yeah. Like, right. in terms of... Anyone who wants to tell him any secrets about his past is usually a dick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, it's just more trouble than it's worth. Let's just say that I'm an unstoppable killing machine. That's awesome. Right. right. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Right. Who cares? But, um, <laughs> so anyway, they, they kind of, like, go back and forth a little bit about how, like, you know... It's conspicuous. They both got letters. Yeah. And that, like, you know, like, both of them are, like, antsy to find out what's going on. And they don't know who that kid is. Oh, yeah. They don't right. know who Danny is. They don't know who he is. Right. And then, like, Danny's laying in... Like, so they're having this conversation where they're actively trying to figure this out. And Danny's laying in bed thinking about how dark it is because he's not in the city anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's that's pure catch. 10 out of 10, Danny catch. Um, Jesus. And, that, and then that's when Blackheart shows up. You're not working at this fast enough! <laughs> <laughs> you suck! Did you figure it out? BH, come on! Get the show on the road. The other two of them are already figuring it out. Yeah, Punisher's suiting up. He's like, I'm putting my Punisher suit on. <laughs> yes, when he runs into Lucy at the breakfast table tomorrow, he's going to be like, hey. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is my hunting habit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that way. I don't get shot because you wouldn't shoot a skeleton. Did Blackheart choose this location for any particular reason? Because it's Christ's crown. Oh, it's near the, yeah. The yeah. bed and breakfast it's or the, whatever. The, the town is, is the town is where the, the hill is. the place where you can stay in town. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. So, and it's just, it just happens to be good, like, you know, fortunate that they all went there at the same time. Yes. So anyway, intervention, you might say. Yes. Blackheart arrives in each person's room and oh. like seemingly they're having different conversations, but that, then at the end they're like having the same conversation. Oh. Don't, it's best not to like think about Galadriel. it. Like Yeah. Oh. Just talking to all their heads. Right. But, um, <laughs> so like. I see the eyes. <laughs> So Danny's like reaction I don't is to be want afraid. Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine's like, yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. Because like that's it. Danny's reaction is, I'm scared. Punisher's reaction is like, I'm gonna fight you. And Wolverine's reaction is, I'm literally launching my body at you with my claws. <laughs> my, claws are spring. You. <laughs> <laughs> my first reaction of anyone who's talking to me is to plunge my Adam into you yes. inside of them. I, I stab first and ask questions later. Yeah. It's fine. And so Blackheart's like, hey, Danny, will you listen to my story? And he's just like, sure. And Danny's like, I gotta get to my bike, because don't forget. That's right. He can't transform without the bike. Mm. So he's gotta he, tap the gas cap. He's gotta touch it. <laughs> That's the worst power problem. He's like, he's, he's like, he's like a gotcha family. Shazam. It's like he's <laughs> ringing on the family feud. Hump goes right Yeah. yeah. Um, so... <laughs> Literally, he's like Blackheart's like. Well, at least you're the most reasonable of the three of them because right. like he's being stabbed by Wolverine, he's <laughs> shot by Punisher, mm -hmm. and he's just like, "Here's the thing, guys. You're like the new heroes. You live in this gray area where like you go to the edge. You're anti-heroes. Yes, yeah. like literally, that's Blackheart's you're willing to kill. Yeah, he's just like, you're willing to go for the jugular. You're willing to go for it. I think that you can help me kill my dad. Okay, right on. You're gonna help me kill my dad. Even though you're both your main moves right now are having no effect on me. His plan is to right. imbue them with some of his power. Oh, oh okay. and they're like go further insane. Yes. By the way, this looks awesome. Right? Yeah, this it does. looks really cool. I really enjoyed it. He did the height of his game, man. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Like I love seeing this Wolverine here. By the way, 
I'm glad you kind of mentioned the whole art thing. Oh. Because, like, inevitably we will see his Ghost Rider. And... Yeah, Jesus. Oh, yeah. How many pages Jesus we have? We haven't gotten a freaking Ghost This is where yet. we'll get Ghost Yes! Oh, that's awesome. And it's awesome. pretty amazing, right? Yeah. yeah. Damn. So, there was an interview with Romita that's actually in the back of this book. Oh, it's, cool. It's kind of a good read, and, and um, it's worthwhile. But um, he talks a lot about this book, and um, he mentions that... You know, they're like, well, you haven't, you've drawn Punisher, you've drawn Wolverine, but you haven't drawn your own Ghost Rider. Like, what do you think? He's just like, well, I really didn't care for Ghost Rider either way. I didn't really think, <laughs> I didn't really regard him, basically. Yeah, like everybody, cool. And yeah. he's just like, he's like, but, you know, like, after I, like studying him and all that, like, I'm st- I, I understand why fans think he is he looks so cool and like why he's so popular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After drawing him, I recognize that he is a rad tattoo, <laughs> and I understand why he's so popular because people are really superficial and they think cool looking things are awesome. That's it. I thought that was so funny to include Where's that question <laughs> in the back. Yeah. Of this and why is Ghost Rider so popular? I think because he looks cool. <laughs> oh. Well, there's so many reasons, but what it really comes down to is he's fucking awesome looking. Yeah. Yeah, and that's literally and the that's only reason it. to like him. Right? Yeah. So, like, I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. Because, like, he really respects the other characters. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Wolverine, he's got a great lineage, he's got a great history. He and loves he's just... Punisher and he loves Daredevil. Yeah, he does. Oh. Yeah. And, like, so now he's your own Ghost Rider. And then he mentions at one point, he's just like, you know, some people, like, cause there was a question about, like, doing books and for what reason you do them and, like, artist integrity and stuff like that. And he's yeah. like, some people call you a seller and whatever like that, but, like, you got to do things like because like artistically for you something that like you like but when isn't it nice when you can do something that artistically you like but yeah. you also can pay your bills right mm-hmm. then he equates himself to a streetwalker or a whore he's Ooh, just like, ghost rider he's like when i was doing this book i'm not going to pretend like i didn't put the lipstick on in the high heels Whoa! And I was oh like, my god what ouch <laughs> don't say that Damn. jesus so, he was well aware of what he was doing because he's like, these are the top three Marvel characters. And yep. Did his best that he could with this. I'm yeah. cashing a check. Yes, but he had a good time drawing it, is what he was sure. saying. Yeah, well, yeah. because I'm glad, I guess. Right. There are cool splash pages in it. Yeah. Yes. I'm glad you are. had a good time drawing this, like, artistically bankrupt <laughs> piece of garbage. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, in your eyes. By the way, uh, Ramita Jr. likes drawing Daredevil so much. Yeah. Because that was one of his dad's first t- penciling assignments. So he remembers Aww. seeing his dad draw Daredevil. That's really sweet. And then when his dad started drawing Spider-Man, when he took over for Ditko, he didn't like Spider-Man because Spider-Man was like the new guy and he fought Daredevil. And so he equated Daredevil with like his dad. So when da- when Spider-Man came on the scene and he started drawing, he's like, oh, I don't like Spider-Man though. And then he found out that they were friends and they worked together. And then he- he- Spider-Man's natural popularity sunk in. So Romita Jr. started to really dig on his own dad's version, and then, of right. course, uh, Ramita Jr. would make his bones drawing stuff like Daredevil, and then he would take over for Spider-Man. Blackheart's literally like, we should kill my dad. It's going to be really great. It's going to really help out humanity. And yeah. Then, like, we this is the set. He should have just appeared before them at any point. Yeah. Right? So this is this is his plan. He's just like, we're going to bring down the greatest evil, and then, like, I'll rule, and it'll be fine. Like, it's going to be great. <laughs> and then, like, Wolverine goes, like, he says... And I want you to keep this, like, line in mind, that he says that he's like, if it's just kind of out of my league here, you should go You ah. should go talk to Thor, Silver Surfer, or someone like that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, just good remember point. that one. Yeah. Thor, Silver Surfer, okay. Okay. He does not name drop Doctor Strange. No. Um, but, um, so then we see Punisher's take on it, which is like, he doesn't believe any of this mystical stuff. Which is funny because he would later be in a book that where he was Frankenstein. Yeah, other mystical... or when he was killing for God. Yeah. But that's later. Or the fact he's that also... he's literally being t- spoken to by a demon. <laughs> I was just going to say, he's also looking at this fucking demon. Well, he demon. tells him to turn off his hologram. Oh. <laughs> You've met Thor. Uh, <laughs> this is a hologram. So anyway, and then like, Danny's just like, I don't, but why me? I don't understand how I fit in all this. Like the two of them are like, oh, you dick. God. And he's just like, but he's just like, well, you think that like the Ghost Rider came to you like out of nowhere he's just like no it's all meant to be and you're supposed to help yeah, me you must have made a deal or and something. then they all say no and he is shocked blackheart is legitimately like what but what he, he does look surprised what? yeah right like everything's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've blown his mind it's like young einstein <laughs> <laughs> anyway he's, he's completely like he didn't see this coming which is like, yeah. He's just like, I just... I don't understand. I told them they should like kill him and they won't do it. Yeah, and then he's just like, okay, fine. You know what? I'll just... Kill you. Do this instead. And he poofs away out of there, right? He just leaves. And then we hear Lucy screaming like, mommy, no, don't do that. 
And then, like, they all run downstairs, and by run downstairs, I mean the two of them run down the stairs, and Wolverine rides the banister down <laughs> <laughs> with his claws out. That's yeah, dangerous, Yeah, I gotta everybody. kill that little kid. What? <laughs> I, I'm a killer. That's what I do. So, as it turns out, nothing's happening to Lucy. It's that her mom is just wandering out of the house like a mindless zombie, and it turns mm. out the whole town that's happening to them. Oh, oh, and okay. so, like, Lucy's trying to stop her, and it's not working, and then, like, she sees them, and, like, she, like, grabs Wolverine and, like, Frank's hands, mm-hmm. like, cause, and it's adorable. Oh. And she's like, you gotta help my mommy! That's, like, the worst two people to put your right? trust in. But it's just so funny. She immediately, like, gravitates to them. Danny Catch... Yeah. Well, she just met him. You're just he's, a guy. He's not wearing a cool costume. <laughs> yeah. Also, she met them earlier, and Catch is just a bumbling fool. He's right? Like, What's for dinner anyway? <laughs> yeah. But uh, but so, do I have to pay my room rent then? Was... If we let her go, we can skip out on the tap. <laughs> right? So then, like, for me, this is, like... I... Howard Mackey's writing is, like, eh. At best, for me. Mm. It's a lot of repetitiveness and whatever. Oh, but it's, right it's, it's like here, poetry. No. Right here is like, I can literally hear Wolverine from the cartoon show in my head. Because he's like, mm. don't worry, little darling. Like, yeah. And I'm like, yes, I can hear it. Yeah. Well done. So like Punisher and Wolverine run off. To be cool. Yeah. They're going to go be cool. They're going to go do that. And like Danny Cash like, I need to get my bike. I got to raid right. the fridge. So I can't do anything until I get to my stupid or, bike. So he runs around the back of the house. The bike's gone. Oh my God. The bike's gone. You're kidding me. Maybe a group of female gangsters took it. Right? They're going to push his face and <laughs> dog poop. Yeah. Uh. Bike's gone. And then he hears Lucy screaming. And then she's gone. Danny Cash whizzes it. Once again, wow. in record time. Well, that's very in keeping with his character. Right, so then he arrives at the center of town where everybody else is. Like, all the townspeople are there, and Wolverine and Punisher are trying to get through the crowd. And Blackheart's in the middle of the square with Lucy riding Danny's bike. And he's just like, <laughs> he's like, how emasculating, isn't it, Daniel? Oh, my <laughs> like, God. Like, and for that's a minute awesome. there, Blackheart went up a little bit in the Yeah, yeah. Go Blackheart through. immediately needs his own book. <laughs> So he's just like, okay, but now you're going to help me. Because see, like, like how masculine this is for you, that's how it is for me with my dad. Right. Like, what? <laughs> so then, like, they try to get through the crowd, and they can't get through it. And he's just like, you should kill some of these people, because, like, in order to save the rest of them, because I'm going to kill them otherwise. <laughs> you got to kill some of them, and then you can get to me. Like, just prove, show me. Like, you, this is what you are. Yeah, show the killing spirit you've got. Right? So it doesn't, it doesn't work necessarily. And no. then, like, Wolverine, like throws his claws up in the air because <laughs> he doesn't know what else to do. It's weird that it says snicked because there's no way he retracted them at any know, point just between the banister and now. It's true. Um, but like, so Blackheart threatens to kill the townspeople and he's going to well, possibly also kill Lucy so Punisher open fires on him. Opens right, yeah. that's his power. Him. Yeah, and like, it obviously just kind of goes through him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, he's um, a friggin' demon. He's a demon. And then, so then, he's like, like, God, this hologram. My bullets have no effect on it. <laughs> this hard like construct that can pick up little girls and control the wills of men, but also my bullets are completely ineffective. Yeah, exactly. So then like Blackheart takes off. He's like, follow me to the gates of hell. So he uh, leaves with I Lucy. love that Blackheart took a bike. And just he just took his bike. He's just like, That's, this is mine now. Your bike is mine. Yeah. And so like, then he splatters, like, Lucy's arm gets cut and, like, it hits... I'm Jan- one of his many spikes. Right, and it hits Danny Catch in the face. Like, oh, the blood blood. of the innocent! Yeah. Yes! And it's, But it's just funny because it's, like, just insult to... In- yeah. <laughs> You've oh, literally no, done nothing. Look, your failure has just been, like, <laughs> splayed on your face. So enjoy that. So then, like, he's just like, I'll get her! And so he just runs after the bike. The bike, by the way, has the fire wheels. It is fast. Yeah. And Danny Catch is like, I got this! <laughs> and so, like, Wolverine's like, what an idiot. He's never going to catch her. <laughs> Punisher, do you have a car? Yeah, I got the battle van. So they hop in the van. Yes! Nice. And they ride off. And then, like, Danny Catch is like, I'm never going to catch her. Wait, there's a motorcycle store conveniently right there. Oh. I'll use this garbage can and break into it and steal a motorcycle. Oh. I got my because fingerprints all over this place. First. I can't take any of these cars. Oh. I have and to turn that into a cool... Oh, it's got to be a motorcycle. I don't know how to drive a car. I can yep. only drive a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> so then, like, he starts to wipe the blood off of his face. And when he gets on his hands, the symbol from the gas cap appears oh and he turns in to ghost rider without the bike is this the first time that's ever happened yes because that happens later which is why i'm having a hard time placing when this happens oh, well, you mean the, the first time happens later where he's like i've never been able to transform yeah, without later on gas things cap. happen and like he merges with like noble kale and like this whole thing yeah. occurs and i think that's about the time that that happens but this happens now okay could be the blood of the innocent could be this doesn't matter. Could be lazy. Know. Right? But the guy who's writing this... Why would they have his bike get stolen if they weren't, like, deliberately trying to do this? Yeah, if they weren't know. trying to prove, like, he can do this. Because I've seen this splash page a million times. I think I've used it in editing episodes it's of Back Issues. spectacular. And awesome. uh, that explains why the bike 
is it's not different. the Danny Ketch body. Because bike. he stole yeah. it. He, it he looks more like an old Ghost Rider. Yeah. 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 So That's uh, kind of cool. Punisher and Wolverine end up at the hill. Punisher's like... like The Christ Crown Hill? Yeah. Nice. And he's like, like get some guns, Wolverine. He's like, I'm good. I got... I got these guns. So their plan is they're just going to run through the thorns. Now, just I don't, run? Yeah, they're just going to go through it. They're going to make it through it. And I'm like, first of all, you put Wolverine up front. Yeah. But Wolverine's not doing a whole lot. They're just kind of getting oh, what the butchered. Hell? These are really Are the thorns thick magic? Thorns. Yeah, presumably, yes. It's because of Blackheart. Yeah. Oh. So then, like, Ghost Rider just flies through, and basically they're just kind of like, <laughs> okay. Let's just follow the flaming skull man on the motorcycle. Yeah. Is this the only effective Sweet. thing that Danny Ketch does in the entire book? No, he is does. provide like a snow plow duty where he's like, I push the twigs out of the way. <laughs> he does some other things too. Okay. All Without right. that guy, you'd have been fucking done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then they run into Blackheart and Blackheart's still like, okay guys, come on though. Now you're going to join me. Let me show you. Like, look, Frank, here's your family, right? But like, look, they what? died. What? He shows them their family? He shows them his family. And oh. he's just like, but then they died. Like, I could bring them back. It's cool. Don't worry about it. What? And he's just like, Wolverine, check out the skeleton that has. It's just you. It's got adamantium claws. That's bones. Just, that's not. That's not adamantium. Yeah, there's no adamantium there except for the claws. He's supposed to have. So it they all don't even know that he has an adamantium skeleton. It's in him, I guess, in this version. I guess the yeah, the adamantium's underneath the bone. Yeah. That makes even less sense. So what the? So Wolverine's like, I don't care about that, and he just like, that. Yeah, why himself. would he care about that skeleton? Right. So he's, he's just like, I don't care. And then Blackheart's like, okay, but like Ghost Rider, check out, it's you as Zarathos. I'm going to give you back all your powers and shit like that. Oh. And like, he's unimpressed by that. Because he's not there, Zarathos. Not Zarathos. And they all just like open fire on him, right? <laughs> and then okay. like, while it's happening, a bunch of like little minor demons come up, take Lucy, and he's just like, fine, ah. I'm just going to take her to hell and it's going to be well, fine. Minor demons, where they come from? Can, can Blackheart summon minor demons? I guess Or do so. they come because their, their, their shrubbery was disrupted by the Ghost Rider? <laughs> no. Like, your guess is as good as mine. Fair I enough. assume it's, a, it's part of Blackheart. I'm guessing plan. it's because of no fucking reason whatsoever. Yep. Probably. So then um, Blackheart opens a portal to hell. They take Lucy to hell and Ghost oh. Rider follows. Cool. Okay. And so like when he's there, he's just like, you know, you keep talking about, like, this is Ghost Rider. He's like, you keep talking about this edge and like, you know, like that we're on it or whatever, but you're on the edge, man. This is the only time you kind of get the mention that like he's losing his mind, Blackheart is, mm. but it's not really well explained. Right. And then as he's doing this, like goes through, he's pulling his gloves off and then he just starts punching Blackheart in the face. Cool. With okay. his flaming skeleton Yeah, Yay. That's awesome. He's doing something. Right? He's... That also betrays that like he's just always on fire and that the like leather outfit is containing, containing the fire. The fire, right? Yeah. So he's not a flaming head, he's like flaming skeleton. Yeah. yeah, and so while he's punching him now, he's just like, you you know, you're offering me all this power and answers, but I'm going to find those answers. I don't need you. And, like, Blackheart's like, I don't think you're Zarathos at all. <laughs> <laughs> Zarathos wouldn't have punched me in the face. <laughs> so he's like, you know what? Forget this. I'm just going to kill Lucy. And that's when Wolverine and Punisher show back up again, and Wolverine cuts um, uh, Blackheart's arm off, and then Punisher is just like, you know what? I'm just going to shoot you. Right. Like usual. Yeah, and it yeah. totally works this time. And Blackheart hell, I guess? just explodes. What? He just, he just explodes? From he is holy water tipped round. It could be that he expended oh. too much energy. I don't Maybe. know. Right, so it's, it's incidental. Or it could be that also because now Ghost Rider has started punching him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so... he just inflicted enough damage on him. And then he explodes. But he's still alive because, like... He's in he's, hell he's, and he's, he's from there. Demon. He's, he's, a, a demon. he's a goo pile, usually. Like, when he dies, he becomes a goo and then he comes back. Oh, cool. Okay. And that's about the time that Mephisto shows up. <laughs> now, this is a Mephisto that some of us haven't seen before. This is John Romero Jr.'s Mephisto. He draws Mephisto in a way I've never it's... seen. But they made an action figure about it. And so what? I'm probably going to put a picture no! of it here. No! This is the worst! Because I've seen this, like, bird demon I Mephisto. Have, I feel like... We've seen that version. Book. Yeah. I don't like it. But, like, I don't know what circle of hell you have to have fallen into to end up being one of his like crotch people because there are just nothing but little humanoids down there covering his junk yeah that is but yeah. like but not his rocking tits you must have screwed up pretty bad if you're like what the crotch covering and this <laughs> isn't even the devil in this he is because blackheart calls him this world's devil all right but that depends because there's sometimes there's an actual devil and Mephisto, and sometimes there isn't. Yeah. So like, he shows up, and he's just like, well, and this is like so funny, because like usually when we think of Mephisto, we think of like, hello! Yoo-hoo! I'm the clown! But he talks like that, because he's just like, well done, you did everything I wanted, Blackheart, you're, you're following exactly what I wanted they're you to like, follow. They're like, cool, What's, okay, thanks. What, he wanted Blackheart to bring... Well, because no, because he's like, you you corrupted them, and you tempted them just like the devil would, that's exactly what I wanted you to do, you don't so have free will. So he's a chip will. off the old block. Yeah, because remember, Blackheart wants free will, if nothing right. else. And like, he's just like, you don't have it, ha ha. Anyway, Ghost Rider, you're not 
what I thought you were. But I'm going to deal with that Who later. I'm going to eat my, my, my son now and I'm gone. What? Okay. He literally okay. scoops the goo pile up. He eats Blackheart. <laughs> and then poof, he's gone. And everyone's of course he does. back on the hill. Of course that's what he does. And like, you're like, what? <laughs> what well, I guess this book is over now, right? <laughs> and then the book's over. and um, Or it should be. They're all like, let's hold hands and everything's fine. But like, man, this is where the Joseph Conrad comes in. Because Punisher's like... You know, he said a lot about us reaching the edge. You think it's true? And, like, Ghost Rider's like, it doesn't matter. Because even if we cross it, as long as we protect the innocent, it's all worth it. And then there's a rose that's dripping black. Because Blackheart's not dead. Oh. And I was just thinking to yourself, man, that this was... left so many questions. <laughs> yeah, that was so not self-contained and what completely open-ended. Was that? What happened to Blackheart? What happened to Lucy? Right, what became of Lucy? Well, don't yeah, where worry. Did she go? In 1994... Howard Mackey writes a follow-up to this called Dark Design. No! Where we oh go back. God. Why? And we're going to do it. Who asked for this? We did. What the... Who are these people? Well, this is drawn by Ron Garney. Yes, he's cool. So this book, this is how it opens. Whoop. Strap in, folks. But it's three years later. Yes. Does Mackey... Did Mackey write this in 1991 and then three years later he got it approved? I'm pretty sure that... They wanted to do another one, and Mackie read his issue and then was like, okay. Just update a couple things. I'm going to do the same issue. Oh, no. But a little different. No, it's the same damn thing. It's very much the same damn thing. What the fuck? <laughs> I also want to point out that during this time period, in like 94, Ghost Rider's still ongoing. Yeah. And in the issue like that comes out the same month this comes out, Wolverine is teamed up with him. Oh, so there's two Wolverine team-up Ghost Rider books happening concurrently. And they don't mention what happens here at all. Well, good. But you might. You right, might mention it's, this. because it's important. Right? Because this is a little weird. So anyway, we go back to Christ's Crown, and it is like a Who? city now, and it's like... They a, built a city on top of it? Well, it's like it's like a city, and but it's also like turned into hell. It's so it's 1994, they, well, they saw Robocop a couple times. No, well, yes, but also because Blackheart came back. Because after Blackheart was, like, left that book, he, like, shows up in a Wonder Man book where he tries to help Wonder Man defeat Mephisto. That doesn't work <laughs> out. Then he goes to the Warheads. He tries to use that. The Marvel UK book? Yeah, and that doesn't really work out for him. But he ends up getting a whole bunch of followers from it, which he turns into what he calls the Corrupt, and he imbues them with power, which is why... They have the lines. The matching outfits, I can't explain. It's 1994. It's a team. We're creating a team. They're not a team. There are like hundreds of them. Oh. Because oh. it looks like it's just a team of six. Right? No. You'd think that, but don't worry. We'd get rid of them. Oh. Because like... What, he gives them space guns? They're hell guns, probably. Yeah. Why are they... They look like space if guns. If you're expecting an answer from this That's... book about those guns... Jesus. Those guns are there because they look cool. Yes. Ah. So anyway... Um... I wonder what model number they are. <laughs> It's a good question. So Ghost Rider is carrying a girl who turns out to be Lucy Crumb, and there's a woman with them, but it's not her mom. Yeah, who the mm. hell is this chick? That's Norma Jean. Marilyn Monroe? I was going to say, what? what? <laughs> That's Norma Jean, and she is um, Lucy's cousin. Okay, and they're so escaping. a new character. Yes, they're mm -hmm. escaping the corrupt who want Lucy because Blackheart wants Lucy. Right. Where did she go, though? She was there the whole time. It's just Blackheart showed up and, like, corrupted the town and turned it into his own little mini kingdom. But where did she go at the end of the last book? She stayed in Christ's crown. Did she's they, did they bring her back from hell? Or... No, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they all went home. Remember oh, at the end of the book, they were okay. all on top of the thing? The they're all on top of the hill. Back. Oh, yeah. he just, okay. He just sent them all back. Mm, all right. So anyway, so, like, Ghost Rider wants, like, Norma to protect uh, Lucy while he fights the corrupt. And, like, they're all going to town. And Norma... Why is Ghost Rider here? Because Lucy called to him. She just yelled out in the ether and he was like, oh, I hear you. She has powers. You see, oh. around the time that she hit puberty, uh, powers started suddenly developing. Is she a mutant? That's questionable because it's never outright said, but the puberty thing's kind of a... Like, indicator. Indicator. Yes. Mutant. But if it is, it wasn't invented until now because I guarantee you Wolverine could have smelled his own. <laughs> yeah. But I guess she wouldn't yeah. have hit puberty at that point, so maybe not. Maybe. Well, he also met her, so he would her, her scent would be familiar to him. Yeah, but like regardless, like so she's a she's a mutant. Yeah, I don't think Wolverine can smell the mutant gene. Okay, that's fair then. I don't know. He's he's not like he has, he has a, like cerebro in his nose. Well, but he, he also but he can smell death on Punisher. When yeah, he hasn't killed in a while. Oh, that's fair. It's questionable what he can smell, <laughs> especially in a Howard, clear. especially in a Howard Mackey book. Yeah, he can smell yeah, whatever the writer wants him to smell. That's right, right. because cool. sometimes he can smell Ghost Rider. 
Maybe she got hit with Terrigen Mist and she's a friggin' inhuman. No, Inhuman. It's not human. that. It's definitely... They don't, they don't care about that back we'll, then. We'll get to her powers. It's 94. It's all X-Men and mutants. Norma kills somebody with a shotgun and like he's just like, I can't believe she did that so easily. I could never do that. I could never cross that threshold. You're Ghost Rider. They're bad people, but not this Ghost Rider. Remember, he doesn't kill. But he's the penance stare. That kills people. He's, no. He's just like, I'll just hurt them like with pain they've never felt before, but I can't kill them. But how could she do that? Oh, so oh anyway, he God. like, cool. he ends up like dispatching all of them and he's just like, all right, whew, made it there to there. And then one of the corrupt reaches up and grabs his arm and infects him Oh. with Blackheart's energy. Oh, the energy that he wanted to give him in the first place to defeat Mephisto? Yes. Cool. Okay. And so like Ghost Rider is now infected and he's just like, don't touch me, I get Lucy, you might become infected. He's like, I have to turn back into Danny Ketch because like I have to deal with this. So he turns back into Danny Catch, and Danny Catch is like, okay, my hand's cool, but like, I could feel it growing inside of me. Oh, <laughs> boy. How deep. But like, it gives him enough time for them to get away, and Lucy mentions that like, she needs Danny there, and like, Norma's like, yeah, but we really just need you in order to get out of here, Lucy, because Lucy's the key to the survivors of this, like, she's the key hell to hole. All this. Yeah, getting out. And she's like, but don't Why? Forget... What does that mean? Because she has powers, and her powers are uh... not only telepathy. Oh. But she has the power of hope. What? No. She inspires hope in people. And uh. so since they're like in hell, they can't escape without feeling that. And she yeah, also like calms people's minds. So are, wait, are they physically in hell? Like they're like no, if they got to like, the edge of the town, it's just like a wall of fire or no, something? No, no. Or like, they could just walk out of the town. It's very much like it, they could walk out of the town, but there's so many corrupt and like the place, like there are They'll other people. Make it. There are other people wandering around who are like mindless zombies. Like the place is definitely being changed and um, like okay. destroyed by Blackheart's energy. Okay. How long have they been doing this for the last three years? Uh, no, I don't know how long. It's questionable. Like it just happened. Time like, what if a state passed. trooper like, drove through like, and was like, "What the hell? Well, then, Why is everybody being zombies?" Uh, they're weird. probably they're probably out dealing with right with all of them. So local law enforcement's overwhelmed, right? With so a demon problem. Yeah. Exactly. You think you call like the Fantastic Four or something? Nope. So Lucy's waiting for Mr. Frank and Mr. Logan to show up because she also she called, called them. To them. Yeah. And that's when we get Wolverine, who looks like the 90s punched him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. He has a nose, though. Bone. He's got bone claws. Yes, he does. Yay! This is, this is bone claw Wolverine, so... So he sucks. Try to figure that one out. So, he has like, a nose. The corrupt attack him, because Blackheart was like, hey, by the way, corrupt, if Punisher or Wolverine shows up, <laughs> just get rid of them. Just don't. Because they rebuffed my suggestions. Yeah. Just don't. So I'm sure they totally could defeat Wolverine. Well, because oh, yeah. I guess he didn't mention to them that Wolverine's a mutant. So, like, when they show up to kill him, they thought it was, like, a dude. Right. And then, like, they just kill him. He just kills all of them. And, yeah. And they're like... Hey. Yeah. And then, like, oh, one of them ends God. up getting the drop on him. And so that's when Punisher shows up. And, like, there are a few of them left. And he just headshots all of them. Okay. And like, yep. and like, we see the super '90s pose for him. Yeah, he looks awesome. We're, we got like, he's clearly wearing leather, but for some reason, has crazy highlights, including two in the eyes. So it looks like the skull's also looking down on <laughs> us. <Ooh. laughs> oh, you know, that's his awesome. His hair too has got little tendrils. Oh yeah, everyone's got yeah. little tendrils coming out of their hair. That's exactly yeah. it. So anyway, like. Wolverine like refers to him as Mr. Frank and like he's like, Did That's you fun, it's yeah. nice little callback. He's like, yeah. I guess you got a message from her too, and he's just like, I thought it was a bad dream because don't forget Punisher, even though he He's been through this, he went to hell literally. Went to literal hell, doesn't buy any of this. So then like Lucy oh, reaches out holograms I keep headshots. Exactly. It's, it's weird. Those people with no, those are people with crazy tattoos. Oh. That's that's a gang. I see. Yeah. Um Lucy, like depends on how you want to take this. Some people say that she's able to like Project, be, project what what herself there. It could just be in their heads. But she's like, you gotta hurry up. We need you right now. Um, you gotta do something. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, like, inevitably, they show up at, like, their hidden base. And, um, like, they set the alarms off upon doing so. But, like... Wait, Blackheart's hidden base? No, 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 no. The, the hidden base for the Resistance. Like There's a Resistance what? in Christ's crown? Yeah, that's who Lucy's gotta help to get out. What? No, that's like, this is totally like some crappy apocalyptic movie with like, so the town is like descended LA. into, yeah, the, the, the town has become total anarchy uh -huh. and like there's a, there's a governing body made up of, <laughs> of, of, of evil possessed <laughs> zombie zealots yeah. and black hearts at the core, yeah, but there's he, like a crew of, of rabble, of rebels. Because they want to get out and like Lucy says right. the only way they can get out is to get Ghost Rider, like Logan, and you get the Holy Trinity Frank. of cool. Yeah, and they'll show up and they'll help to get. Yeah, them why, out. Force why, awesome. why not anybody? 
Yeah, why, why not just any call she could find? Iron Man? Because he'll they just... weren't in the first book. Oh, because she doesn't know them, I guess. Right? Yeah. So, so anyway, there's no backstory to how the place how got this, this way. It's no. just he, Blackheart just or got, how long it's been like this. There's no backstory as to how long it is. Blackheart basically rolls up one day and like his plan is literally he wants Lucy, but he also wants to like establish a kingdom for himself so he starts that there okay. but don't forget as he's doing this he's expending a lot of energy so he's going more so insane again oh no losing it as we're going through this book why does he seem like lucy her? though he, she was just a target of opportunity oh, before no. well now she has powers oh that's and right. those powers come into play they're gonna come into play mm -hmm. so um oh, when man. logan and frank show up she hugs them and like um, they check on Danny, and like it's clear he's starting to become infected, and he's got his goth black nails now. Oh, and um, like shit. Punisher's like, but what happens when you transform into Ghost Rider? And he very dramatically goes like, you know, I don't know yet. Oh, oh not the, maybe the Ghost Rider would like purge it from your system. Well, Ghost Rider was the one who was originally infected. So yeah, I don't know. Oh, probably not then. So Too bad he didn't dramatically turn into Ghost Rider. Right? That'd be way cooler to look at. No, we don't do that. So instead, they already sits around the fire. Um, and talks about what they know, and like Danny doesn't know anything, and Naturally. Lucy knows that she has powers who help people, but like did they age up Lucy originally? Lucy was what like nine? Yeah, now she's like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that she's sense. whatever they want to draw at that moment. Um, so she says that she needed their help, and so that's why she called them. And like you know, Punisher's like, I don't know why you called us, like. I'm not into supernatural stuff. Why didn't you call someone like that Doctor Strange guy or oh, the Avengers? Right? All right. Remember in that other issue when Wolverine said... Why don't you call yeah, Thor like or, or Silver Surfer? Silver Surfer. Yeah. And now, they'll, now the other guy. So this is because Howard Mackey just read that issue. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, this is actually a really, really direct sequel to something that happened three years prior. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a convenient boot right? or something. Almost. Yeah. It is like he just did it again. Right? So um, Weird. Lucy's like, look, guys, it's not like what you do it's who you are like you know mm -hmm. you guys always do good but like you do live like like on the edge and you've looked you've peered you've peered into the darkness and you don't falter usually but because of that mephisto and blackheart don't know what you're going to do and i'm like that doesn't make any sense yeah that doesn't make any goddamn sense <laughs> <laughs> so essentially they're like look all we got to do is make sure we keep lucy out of his reach and punisher's like yeah meanwhile <sighs> Blackheart's like sitting in his lair mm -hmm. and like his own lair. Yeah, well, yeah, remember he built his little kingdom. The fist yeah. hasn't even shown up. This is just Blackheart, and he's just like, there's like a dove there, and he's just like, I kill you, but I can't <laughs> because I can't use my energy. We're all go crazy. Stop using my energy to create all these friggin' minions and, and shit. And like cool towers. My... Yeah, exactly. And chairs for me to like hedonistically lie in. <laughs> <laughs> and then like like one of his dudes shows up, and he's like, hey, boss. So um, remember he said Punisher and Wolverine might show up. Well, they did. And they kicked our asses. <laughs> and I don't know where they are. And I don't know where Lucy is. So we failed on every com yeah. like, conceivable The level. checklist is just blank. Yeah. Um, so then Blackheart just grabs him by the neck and like snaps his neck. And he's just like... That's... And then he hears the dove laughing at him. <laughs> the dove is laughing so, like, at him? And then it, it goes... <laughs> And he shoots it with energy because he's got oh, no. that to spare. Oh. And it turns into Mephisto. Oh, my God. And Ron Garney draws him just like yeah. Remita would do. Oh, no. It's almost a little worse at times. Yeah. Yeah. And then these he's, humanoids he's, are like demon things. All over him. But we don't have to see his crotch, so we don't have to see Freaking weird. So, like, this time Mephisto was the same thing where it's just like, I'm so proud of you because you're doing exactly what I thought you were. You're just following well, my like you know, <laughs> just following... In 94, did, Mephi did they just change his opinion his appearance again or was it still the creepy bird monster i think this is just i don't know like what mephisto was in other well, than yeah, this. the last time he was mephisto was, like, yeah what he looked so like. i just know that i think this is because it's a direct sequel he just looks exactly looks yeah, like that yeah. so maybe that's just what he shows himself to look like in front of blackheart i don't know yeah that might but be blackheart just starts screaming that he's gonna kill him don't forget like howard mackie likes to repeat a lot of things yes so he's gonna he's, i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna kill you so is Blackheart's plan in this book to get Lucy so that Lucy will help him kill? The yes. Says so no one will help him, so he's asking. Yes. He's enlisting the hate of a child. So okay. yes. So then, like after we have that scene where everyone's sitting around the fire at the resistance camp, yeah. we go back to Blackheart where he's like addressing his people on top of his like lofty like ebony tower, basically. Oh, cool. Okay. And like all, you see all the corrupt down there, which is why I say they're not a team. Mm, like, right. this is yeah, all no, that's just people. And he's yeah. just like, here's the thing. Same thing as before. Get the girl, but this time, just kill Ghost Rider and everybody else. Just, you will taste man flesh! Just, yeah, just kill all of them. And then he goes back in, and he's just like, you know, that went well. <laughs> I 
I'm good at this. And then he opens the curtains, and his dad is there, and he acts like he hasn't seen him. But, like, in the last... We just saw him in the last scene. Exactly. So either he's losing his mind... Which is very likely. Or, I don't know, they just wanted to have him react like that, and the next right. thing out of his mouth is, I'll kill you. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So then Mephisto just backhands him into goo. Oh, he turned into goo again. He crushes him, him into goo. He does, and then he, like, pours him out and, like, into a puddle, and then Blackheart comes back out of it. Oh, okay. Like, so he's like, gummy. I can remake you a thousand times. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And he's just like, listen, like, I don't know what your plan is here, kid, because, like, you're using your powers, you're going crazy, you keep giving your powers to these individuals, you're making them the corrupt, thinking you're going to come and kill me. So let's say they do that, right? You'll have no powers to defend yourself. Because I guess, presumably, the power doesn't come back. Oh. Question mark? Uh, all right. It's not really addressed. Conservation no. of power. Yeah. Right? He's dispersed it amongst hundreds of... Right? Of, so of worshippers. Mephisto yeah. literally is just like, you're being dumb, just be my kid. You're just like, it's yeah. fine. What and is then the point of all this? Blackheart like what hits him in the face with energy. And Mephisto's oh, like, some. that's it, huh? That's what you got? Anyway, clearly you're doing a bang up job here. I just literally got done telling you that this isn't going to work and right. you're using too much energy and you're losing your mind and, and then you just literally you shot use me with energy, energy. Check it. so you just just keep, keep doing, it up you keep doing you I'm going to go so he turns into a dove and he flies away <laughs> yeah so then um, when we go back to the resistance we get more of that backstory about like you know how like Blackheart showed up and he changed the town overnight for when, after oh, he okay. showed up so it's only been like a day okay. no no overnight from when he showed up oh god so who knows when he showed up right. okay and like a lot of the writer would yeah a lot of people escaped and a lot of people were killed and one of the first people who was killed was Lucy's mom oh and if you think for one minute we are going to get out of this book with that menstruation joke you're wrong because don't forget Norma is Lucy's cousin. So that was her Aunt Flo, and she makes sure to tell us that. And I'm like, come on! <laughs> That's not even like Whoa. a... That doesn't even make sense. Like, why would that be a joke? She goes, Lucy's mom, my Aunt Flo. Oh, I'm so like, it's like when she... So it's her becoming a woman? Or... No, I think it's just like, I, I named her Flo, and that's her aunt. <laughs> Get it? It's, it's weird. It's a weird joke. Because it's like, it, it comes completely out of nowhere. It's bizarre. And provides nothing. It doesn't do anything. Bizarre. I was just like, oh, what? Odd. <sighs> So anyway, um, Lucy's presence gives them hope and gives them confidence. Gives and yeah. like, she does good things with it and stuff like that and she's going to help. But like, we can't allow her to be corrupted and blah, 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 blah. And that's about the time that all the corrupt show up. Oh, like, okay. All of them because he sent all of them. Right. And so Wolverine and um, Punisher spring into action. They're doing a good job. Like, they're right. just well, going for it. They kill people like it's, you know. Right. And now, like, Danny Catch is like, I have to release the Ghost Rider because they're going to need my help. Sure. Right. They so, don't seem to, but they right? might. Yeah. So he turns into Ghost Rider and he's, like, totally, like, covered in, like, the crazy veins, but he's fine. So it didn't do anything. It didn't oh. matter. So he just looks cooler. Right. So, like, you can clearly see here these two are, like, cleaning up, right? Ghost, and then Ghost Rider shows Ghost up. Ghost Rider shows up. He goes to protect Lucy. He hits a bunch of guys and then is immediately overwhelmed by a wave of individuals who sweep Lucy and him away. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to say, he it's slipped like, on a banana peel and then fell down a manhole cover. And, uh, so they completely overwhelm him, and they're know, gone. And Punisher then Punisher like, Wolverine don't notice? Just, or... No, they're just saying, they're like, well... Now let's go well, save Ghost Rider. Yep, literally they're like, well, we have to go save Lucy. You ready to go, Mr. And Frank? I guess Ghost Rider. Yep, <laughs> and like, well, Frank goes, because he knows he's corrupted, and he wants to know if he was good or bad, and that's why he asked yeah. before. And he's just like, we're going to take down Blackheart. And we may have to take down, and I'll figure out a way to take down Ghost Rider if I have to. Right, right. Which cool. will probably involve bullets. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be plan A, B through D. <laughs> right? So then the Resistance folk and Norma show up, and they're like, we're going to help you because we're not getting out of here without Lucy, and you don't yep. know where to go, so we're going to take you there. Mm -hmm. So they get them to their to the, the place where oh, like Blackheart's the, cool town. Yeah, as base. quickly as possible. Yeah. yeah. Where we find Blackheart being like, you're gorgeous and beautiful. And like, I got to shine light on you because you're great and awesome. And for some reason, Lucy's in a wedding dress. Yeah, because she'll be the God. bride of Blackheart. Except like, and like, he mentions that, but not really. And he's just like, don't you get it? I'm going to take over. And then upon like your foundation of purity, I'm going to build my own little realm. Because here's the thing. You're going to help me keep my, my sanity. How's that going to Because be? she can calm someone's mind. Oh. That's his plan. Oh, That's his right. whole plan. So it was, okay, so I, and then afterwards, so he can use as much power as he wants and still not go crazy. Probably she'll yes, and so then like he's like so that's his biggest weakness, you see. Right, it's, it's and he, insanity. Yeah, and he's like, but like then we'll rule hell together. So she's like Persephone now. Right. Yeah, and um, she's like, cool. That sounds good. 
Right, she's kind of like, all right, whatever. So then, like... She's the, like, he'll just probably wear himself out, and then I'll sleep, and I'll sneak out. Right, our Motley crew makes their, like... What is... What, oh, this is just... Act, this is this is them making their siege on Blackheart Stronghold. Just murdering okay. people. And just I kind of like this panel down here, even though they're looking the wrong way. Then, like, Blackheart's like, oh, they're here. Cool. Anyway, um, I have a dagger, and I'm going to cut her throat. Now I'll kill her. Where do you get this dagger from? Why oh. is it a dagger? His whole body sharp. He has a dagger. <laughs> Yeah, you don't really need the dagger. And like, I'm so just gonna, gonna run my arm across her throat. Just to drive the point point home that I'm gonna kill her. Yes. I'll get an ornate, you know, hot topic esque dagger. It's, it's so, really a letter opener, but I sharpened it. Now it's totally awesome. So Frank's like, don't worry, I gotta, I gotta, I got my shot. Oh no. I'm gonna take I'm my gonna shot. You gotta take bullet. out that demon with a bullet from your well, gun. Well, it worked before. Well, what are you shot like hell? a billion times? I know. After but, Wolverine well, cut his goddamn arm off. Yeah, put the Punisher in the book. What else is he going yeah, to do? The only thing he will do is my only move. This is it. This is my whole thing. This is it. I got guns. Guns and skull shirts. Yeah, I'm not Does Wolverine tell him, like, don't do it? No, Wolverine's like, let go of the kid, Blackheart. Ah. And he's just like, really? That, you're going to threaten me? Well, here, check no, out. I'm just no, I'm just asking you to let her go. And he's just like, you guys refuse me. And like, check out what happens when you refuse me. And then he reveals that he has Ghost Rider like strung up. And there's like all these pointy things. Oh. At so him. Ghost Rider is the damsel in distress. And right? he goes, behold, Ghost Rider. Behold his pain. <laughs> and then, behold, behold his, his lameness. Pain. And then he looks at Wolverine and Punisher who are just still like trained on him. And he's just like, really? You don't care? You, you don't care that we're, I'm hurting him? I would do a lot of work. <laughs> They're like, like no, why would you get that impression? And like, that's what's so funny, because he's just like, maybe that's truly who you are. And it's like, isn't that why you wanted them in the first place? Yeah. yeah. Because they would, they're willing to kill, and they don't care about Ghost Rider. <laughs> but like, it's like, at this moment, Blackheart's like, really? Once again, he's, he's shocked. He's yeah. Like, I, just, I just, I, I thought... I thought you guys stick together. Yeah, no? You have a little girl hostage. Like, we're going to care about the flaming skull man? <laughs> yeah, for all we know, you two are working together. You're both demons. He's already we? infected. Yeah. What the fuck am I going to do? Or, Even if I rescue him, he's still... Yeah. Or he'll be fine. I don't know. What do I look yeah. like? Spider-Man? I'm not going to internalize this. So, like, yeah. while Blackheart's talking, Wolverine just looks at Frank and just goes, pull the trigger, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> just shoot the guy just in the face. Just shoot him in the face. And then immediately Blackheart takes them out. Oh. He like uses his like thorny vines he, like, and he shoots vines. Out yeah, of him. he strings them up and then he's just like, ha ha! Now I'll put pain all, on you. all of your pain. But now like, I'm a thousand times more powerful than I was in the last book. Right? It's more like like mental pain. Well, don't forget now Lucy's here too, so maybe he's feeding off her. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. But like, it's just more giving him hope. Yeah, the like hope to win. defeat these totally defeatable characters. Right. So they all go and like see different parts. Of like their life, but like not necessarily real. Like I, I know it's not real, like but like they're not necessarily memories, but like right. they're based off of memories. Mm -hmm. So like Wolverine is back in Canada mm -hmm. and he's naked and he looks like Lobo and he's just <laughs> yeah, he does yeah. And like, but immediately Wolverine's like, yeah, a lot of people have tried this before. I've been down this road. At <laughs> this like point, that. I don't even know what's real anymore. So I'm just gonna get out of here. Right. Yeah. Immediately he's just like, no, no. He's We're just, not doing this. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 not no, doing no. The, You're in my head and I'm living another scenario thing. Right. No. I've done that a million times. Frank's in Hell's Kitchen. Oh. Okay. And he is surrounded by everyone who killed his family and they all have guns straight on them. Mm. Okay. And he's just like, I'm going to kill all of you. He's, ah. he's like, damn holograms. Right, no. He's yes. totally buzzing. Oh, I see no, he has dead holograms. Right. <laughs> Ghost Rider is in the cemetery where his sister is buried. Oh, and he mm. sees someone at her grave defiling it, or what he thinks is defiling it. And he's just like, vengeance! Yes. Yeah. Because we haven't had a good vengeance from Ghost Rider. No, that's usually one of the two things he yells. Right? So then, like, Wolverine, like, fights something, presumably. Okay. And then he gets out of the, the, the wherever he is. And right, he's the free. guardian of his And he's uh, immediately prison. free. In yeah. the real world, he's free? Yeah. And like oh. he just like lunges forward. And he's just like, you guys have to fight. You have to get out of there. You have to. Argh. So if you remember... could defeat the illusion, like you're physically also freed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nobody said Blackheart was very good at this. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say that. Right. No. He's 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 primarily a, a Ghost Rider villain. So even he... though he was invented in Daredevil. He's usually in Ghost Rider. So when he had Ghost Rider strung up before, that whole time Ghost Rider was in like a dream thing. Yeah. And he just needed to fight. He just needed to try a little bit. Right. Well, <laughs> like Wolverine. The yeah, other two fight. Yeah. Like Wolverine fights and Punisher ends up shooting everybody. And then he, as he's killing them, he remembers killing them before. Right. And he's just like, I've done this before. It's not real. Mm. And okay. he gets so out he gets that free. way. And I was Ghost, right. they were holograms. Ghost Rider starts killing the person who's there. And all of a sudden his sister shows up and it's just like, but do you not see who you're killing? It's, it's Danny you. Ketch. Yeah. Boo. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, what? Yeah. 
Like, yeah, I saw. Star so Danny Wars. never comes out of the hallucination and Punisher and Wolverine save the day. No, <laughs> Danny. Danny gets out, or Ghost Rider gets out, and they're like, "Okay, this is it," and they all strike their superhero pose and like go for him. And like Blackheart immediately tries to grab Lucy, and like yeah. Ghost Rider's chains wrap around him, and then Frank starts to shoot him, and then Wolverine runs up and stabs him. Oh. And then like it's... while this is happening. Like Blackheart's like, don't do this. Come on, guys. Like, just don't take her. Like, I feel kind of guys, bad. Like, fun in. guys, just let help me kill Mephisto. Help me kill the devil. He's the devil. He's not wrong. He's and, not wrong. And Black wrong but like, that's so random. No, like, like, he's come on, guys. Actual... Let's just team up and kill the devil. Like, what? No, what? He just went around this all the wrong way. But I mean, he tried the other way before and it didn't work. <sighs> he but, tried like, one way. They're both was, incompetent ways. If I wanted to kill Mephisto, I'd go talk to like Reed Richards or something. I'd be like, somebody who's super powerful. Like, can you help me kill the devil? Like, that's not a goal that I have. But no, is Reed Richards... I would have tried. But Reed Richards isn't super popular, <laughs> right? No. So, like, but is like, there? Is there? St- like, has Mephisto been like more active recently or something? Where it's no. like, we gotta kill Mephisto, guys. No, well, it's literally no. not. No, it's, it was, I've it's never just, gotten that it's sense It's only before, been Blackheart's ever. priority. That's why no one yes, cares. Yes, Blackheart wants, like, okay, so Blackheart's goal is to restructure hell. Right. Yeah, to be dumb. Like, yeah, like, what city. good does it do to anybody else to kill Mephisto if he's just gonna be the new the, Mephisto? The only well, reason why they would do that is because Blackheart is, in, is incompetent and just, yeah, they're true. like, yeah, we should help him kill Mephisto because this guy's freaking an idiot. Yeah, and let him rule hell because he's dumb. Because we can defeat him immediately. So, like, but literally he's pleading with them, like, help me say, like, slay my dad, oh. like, just come on, guys. And then, like, he's on his knees and he's pleading with Ghost Rider. What he's like, sad. don't you get it? He's like, think of all the innocence that we could save in hell. Like, I'm going to be oh. different. I'm, but it's going to be a kinder hell. Okay. All right. And like, yeah. I take that. And then the Ghost Rider puts his boot on Blackheart's head. And he's just like, no, you're just as bad as your dad. And I'm like, really? Did you, did you, you just live through all of this uni- like, adventure? <laughs> There's no way he's as bad as Mephisto. The only thing that he's done is kill cultists. Yes. In the first story. Right? Well, no, all now he's, he's killed a bunch of people in town. and taken. No, he turned bodies. them into like zealots and Well, monsters. they killed people. Yes. Yeah. But by the way, those people... The corrupt wanted to be turned. Oh, really? Ghost Rider says that earlier. Oh, they like asked for it. They asked for it. God damn it. They were were like me. So yeah, then Blackheart is just completely fine. (laughs) He's just giving everyone what they want. The worst thing he did was take Lucy. Yeah. Well, he did take Lucy. He though. was just too aggressive. And he dressed her up in a wedding gown, which is just fucking That's very creepy. creepy. I don't care for that. And he's gotta uh, go. Yeah. That's the deal. So, like, literally... Like, I'm sorry. I don't want weird, like, child molester people running yeah. in hell. So yeah, that's fair. Ghost Rider's like, you've spilled, like... Like, you've corrupted the town with, like, innocent blood and all that stuff. Like, yeah. Argh. Yeah. He's not wrong about that. And then they all just, like, beat him up some more. Like, they literally just beat him up yeah. a bunch. Like, they punch him and, like, claw at him and shoot just him. pick on him. And then Lucy runs over and hugs Wolverine. He's just in the corner, like, crying. Yeah, that's pretty much he really is. And then everybody else shows up and they all laugh at him. Um, oh, my God. Like, the resistance shows up and they all have this moment where they're like, wow, we won. And then Lucy goes over and, like, forgives him. (laughs) Like, she goes to his side and she's like, I forgive you. That's sad. And then they all run away. They all just leave. And then Mephisto shows up. Yeah, just laughs in his face. He's just like, Like, you've shamed me. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like Blackheart. It's like, you shame me. What gives? You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Just ask me for forgiveness, and I'll forgive you, and I'll reestablish this kingdom. I like this foothold. You did a nice job here, kid. Right. But, like, all Literally, have... the Avengers didn't show up to this town that's, been, yeah. that's descended into hell. Yeah. We could, we could just run it. Right? Mephisto's watching, like, everybody leave on, like, motorcycles and vans and stuff like that. They're mm-hmm. all going, and, like, the kingdom's pretty much broken down, and, like, you see his, like, castle crumbling or stronghold. Mm-hmm. And, like... He's like, no, the game's not over yet, Father. I will defeat you. And he pulls out this little dagger. Oh, the dagger from, mm. from with Lucy? Yep. And then like he's just like, really? You're going to hit me with a little... A little and then over? he looks closer and he's like, what is on that? And he's like, it's the blood of the innocent. Because when he had Lucy, he nicked her a little bit. Oh. As though this was actually his plan. And then he stabs Mephisto. What? killing him. Because apparently, in this last page, we establish that the blood of the innocent can kill Mephisto. Oh. And so, literally, he, like, banishes him away, and what? he becomes, like, Lord of Hell. So Blackheart wins at the end? Yeah. What? By accident? So it's a happy ending anyway. I guess. So you can either take it one of two ways. F- wait. One of two ways being, this was his plan all along. Which it wasn't. <laughs> or... Yeah, his plan was to, like, get punched and beat up and, and cry in the corner. <laughs> Until Mephisto showed up and yeah. then stab him. Since we've pro- now, it's not even the lure out Mephisto. We know Mephisto will appear at the drop of a hat to shame somebody. Right. Or this was just the, like, you know, the chips are down the Hail Mary plan. Yeah. yeah. Maybe just a little blood will work. Yeah. 
Oh, it did. No, his plan was definitely to get those three heroes to help him. Yes, he and a child. Really hard. A child, a child and three because, anti-heroes. Like, here's the thing. At any point in time, he could have shown up and stabbed Lucy a little bit. And then just gone to hell and like, Father, you're right, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no. But in the end... Why is it that easy Blackheart to defeat Mephisto? Wins. Why hasn't anyone ever done that before? I don't remember Blackheart running hell at all. Apparently cool. he does like a, for a little bit. There's yeah. a period of time where Blackheart's running hell, yeah. and other books carry over that? I think so. That's insane. But then Mephisto comes back. Where does Mephisto yeah. go? He goes, he goes to another dimension, and then I think eventually... So he gets stabbed into another dimension? Yeah, or something like that, and I think eventually Blackheart gets... They're not. Blackheart goes away, and like people assume he goes there as well, to Mephisto's dimension. Okay. Oh. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, and we never will, because no one will ever read the books that... That Someone did. Establishes. I'm sure they did. Well, I'm sorry for you. But like, so yeah. This wow. is Ghost Rider Wolverine, what a mess. Punisher, Hearts of Darkness, and Dark That's Design. A... I like the first one better. Yeah, me too. Yeah! That's hilarious. Yeah, no the, fr- shit. the first one is an obvious cash grab, but the second one is an unforgivable cash grab. <laughs> yeah. Because it's the same story. Yeah. Blackheart wants to kill his dad and these three idiots show up and they won't help him. Yeah. Yeah. And then he loses or wins. That's literally the same book. Just what if I wrote the first one now and Ron Garney drew it and uh, he won at the end. This is, this second book, this is so random. Like everything in it is just like, wait, for, but why is the town like that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, let me tell you what happened. Like, okay. So why isn't like the army like in, yeah, coming or in? Or the, the Avengers or anyone? What? Like, how long has this been going on? Ah, uh, never mind and that. And Ghost Rider shows up with a drop of the blood of the innocent. Like, why wouldn't he show up when the first... Like, at the, when the first... Yeah, people have been dying for People died. Like, it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> so you can get a copy of this, I assume, in the description below. Yeah, I would just go on right down there and you can just check this right out. You can get both of them for the price of one. Yeah, because you're going to want the second one. Yeah. Can, can Blackheart just, like, at any time come up and turn a town into, like, a hellscape? Like, why don't they just do that all the time? Right? Well, because, like, Blackheart's whole thing is really just to rule hell better than his dad. Yeah. But it turns out, like, if he just <laughs> changed priorities, he could do a lot more interesting things. Yeah. Why is it this constantly happening where demons are coming up and being like, oh. We usually do- And this is where I'm like, but why wasn't Doctor Strange involved? Well, yeah. yeah. Why didn't he get the call that, like, the, the whole town was yeah, turning? He wouldn't into- even need the call. He'd be able to sense it. Yeah. He'd yeah. be like, oh. Oh, I gotta go stop that from happening. He That's was, my literal entire job. He was busy, I'm sure. Very yeah. busy. I don't know what he was doing. Very busy. 